Hi everyone, it's Amy here from The Spa Within and I'm here today as your grief recovery specialist and I'm wanting to talk to you today about um, how you can actually get clear with all the feelings, the mixed feelings that you're having around the pandemic, um, especially after this announcement again. And I'm actually going to show you an exercise that you can do at home. You can actually do it with the kids as well. And this is really gonna help them get clear with their, their feelings and get complete with their feelings around the relationship with the pandemic because as, as frustrating and as um, uh, as emotional roller coaster as it has been, there has to have been positives within the past two years as well. So this graph is gonna actually be a great visual exercise for you to see the negatives and the positives, but also um, apologize, forgive, and have some significant emotional statements around the pandemic as well. So let's get started. So working on your relationship with the pandemic graph, again, we're starting with the line. Everything above the line is all the positive memories and events and experiences of the pandemic. And on the bottom is the negative experiences and feelings around the pandemic. I've just done mine for the first nine months of the pandemic. I started in January and went until September. When working on your graph, try to get as detailed as possible. The next step in the recovery method is the recovery process. It's done in three steps. First step, apologize. Second, forgive. And third, significant emotional statements. The apologies are making an apology for anything you said or did not say to hurt someone. Forgiveness is forgiving. Forgiveness is giving up the hope of something being different than yesterday or expect, expectations not being met. Okay, now the healing part. And I'm telling you guys, you're gonna need a box of Kleenex, maybe even go to Costco first. But I promise you, you're gonna feel better after you do this ex exercise. So looking at the positives and, and, and negatives from the pandemic graph, I'm using myself as an example here. I've So I'm gonna start with apologies to my kids. I'm sorry that I lost my patience during the online learning experiences. To myself, I'm sorry I was so hard on myself when in retrospect, I was trying to survive. Forgiveness. I forgive myself for not meeting my own expectations. I forgive myself for letting go, for letting anger overcome me. And I forgive. Forgiveness is a very vulnerable place to be, so I've kept that one to myself. Significant emotional statement. Amy, I want you to know that I forgive you for being so hard on yourself. I am so proud of your determination to care for your health during the pandemic. This experiments as, as <laughs> It's as hard as it is, I literally feel so much lighter just starting the process of getting clear with where I need to apologize, where I need to forgive, and then giving myself a significant emotional statement. I'd love to hear if you guys try this exercise, leave a comment below, and feel free to reach out if you wanna connect more about grief recovery.